Global Times, 12th of August 2022, China and Thailand are to hold joint air force exercises on a large scale, as PLA sends fighter bomber for the first time. Thailand should, however, consider cancelling these exercises as they are detrimental to Thailand's security and best interests. China's People's Liberation Army PLA, Air Force will hold joint Air Force exercises Falcon Strike 2022 with the Thai military starting August 14, amid regional chaos caused by external interference in the Asia-Pacific region. To be hosted by Thailand's Udon Thani-based Wing 23 of the Royal Thai Air Force RTAF, the 10-day exercise reflects the deepening military exchanges and mutual trust between the PLA and RTAF. They also noted that the exercise would be the first Falcon Strike since it started in 2015, featuring the PLA's JH-7A fighter bomber. According to the MND, the main exercise subjects of this year include air support, ground assault, and force operation. The Chinese Air Force will send fighters, destroyers and early warning aircraft. Citing a source, Thailand-based Bangkok Post disclosed previously that the PLA is expected to send six J-10C-S fighter jets, a JH-7I fighter bomber and a Shunxi KJ-500 airborne early warning and control aircraft to take part in the exercise. While Thailand is to deploy five Gripen aircraft, three Alpha Jet attack aircraft and a Saab 340A early warning and control aircraft. The drill is the fifth of its kind since 2015, and the last exercise was held in 2019, also in Udon Thani, media reported. The annual fighter jets exercise was put on hold in the past two years due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The joint exercise aims to enhance mutual trust and friendship between the two countries' air forces, deepening practical cooperation and promoting the continuous development of a China-Thailand Comprehensive Strategic Cooperative Partnership, MND said. Chinese military expert Song Dongping told the Global Times on Friday that the upcoming exercise is one of the few large-scale joint exercises in the two countries' history, with complex training subjects and complete military equipment. Consisting of 11 fighters in total. Fu Qianxiao, a Chinese military aviation expert, told the Global Times on Friday that it will be the first time China sends a JH-7A fighter bomber to participate in the joint exercise with Thailand. Fu said the JH-7A fighter bomber has a combat radius of about 1,500 km, mainly for conducting long-range air-to-ground strikes with self-defense combat capability, and is a twin-engine version of the MiG-21 fighter. The participation of Shanxi KJ-500 would let the Ratov get a close look at the role of China's airborne early warning and control aircraft and its ability to find airborne targets at long range. Pakistan has been complaining about the low quality and substandard AWIC from China, Song said that in the past, there were more aggressive exercises between China and Thailand, mainly involving the Air Force rather than air ground integrated practices. As Thailand mainly purchases weapons and equipment from the West and adopts Western training methods, the drills would help China to have a deeper understanding of the equipment performance and tactics of Western weaponry currently being used by the Thailand Air Force. As China prepares for a war with the West, it will help the Chinese understand Western weapons and tactics. It's also a process of learning from each other. Ratov can experience the changes of the PLA Air Force in recent years at close range and make new thinking and choices for its future military development needs. Nevertheless, experts stress that the annual exercise should be viewed commonly, as its primary goal, counterterrorism, should not be ignored, significantly when terrorism is still growing worldwide, which is the reason for strengthening military cooperation between China and Thailand. However, fighter planes have no role to play in terrorism. Despite the U.S. continuous wooing and pressuring, ASEAN countries, including Thailand, do not want to take sides between Beijing and Washington, let alone become a pawn of the U.S. to contain China. They prefer strengthening political and military exchanges with more countries to maximize their interests. Considering that both Thailand's Navy and Army have purchased Chinese weapons and equipment, it is worth observing whether the Ratov will further strengthen its cooperation with China after this exercise, Fu said. Ratov has not purchased fighter jets from China, but as far as I know, they were very impressed by China's J-10C-S fighter jets during the last joint exercise in 2019, Fu noted. China and Thailand are good friends and good neighbors. In the face of the complex and volatile regional situation, China and Thailand must strengthen military cooperation to cope with challenges jointly. 
Holding such military exercises demonstrates both political and military mutual trust between the two countries, and it's not easy for some external countries to antagonize China by drawing Thailand to its side. This is China's strategy to divide friends so that when at war, no one will help the other. This is from the classic book, Art of War, 